Hi everyone. Sorry I'm late. Um, today our favorite Friday post is about uh, my favorite ways to support small on a tight budget. Um, coming up pretty soon we're going to be doing um, supporting local uh, with American Express um, in November for uh, around Black Friday time period um, and I just wanted to bring up some ideas of how we can support local um, and shop small on a tight budget because I know sometimes it can be expensive. Um, some good ways to support local and um, shop small is when you're going out just keep um, can, when you need to purchase things continue to think about ways that you can do that um, on a on a small scale so if you want to go out to eat, just think about so looking up some restaurants on Instagram that might be in your area or um, as you're driving around, take note of different restaurants that you pass. Um, there's a lot of interest on Instagram um, in the restaurant business as well as Facebook um, and you can easily find uh, discounts and like uh, deals on different types of restaurants. Uh, I know that Lucy's Brazilian Kitchen, one of our clients, has a bunch of deals going, so check them out as well. Um, clothing is another way to get uh, to shop local and to shop small and to support those small businesses. If you need to get some new clothes, then go out and support, you know, like Uptown Cheapskate is a good one or um, some of those online boutiques or um, even boutiques that are uh, that co collaborate together to do sales. Uh, those are really good ways to support small businesses. Um, a lot of times if you look online, there's discounts that you can get as well or join their um, subscription list. And they really want to do a good job, so let them know how they're doing and they'll implement, um, implement some of the changes that you want to have happen. Um, that's the great thing about small businesses is that they really do care about people and they're just doing it because they want to give back to the community and to because they feel that they um, have something that they can offer. Um, another section, another area that we can support small in is through freelancers. Um, if you need someone to help with your yard or if you need someone to help with taxes or accounting, um, you know, look those people up through small businesses instead of trying to go big. Um, big is a good thing to do in some cases, but uh, there are some, I mean, ask questions, try them out, get recommendations from your friends and things like that. But a lot of times small business owners, um, for instance, Mazuma um, is a really good uh, taxes and accounting small business place. They do personal as well as um, the small business taxes for any small business owners out there. Um, but they also, um, I know are really great, small business owners are great at um, implementing that feedback that you give them. And a lot of times if you tell them, this is my budget, they'll try to work with you on that. So look up those small businesses and try to see if you can um, work with them on some things. Um, I know that they'll be a really good deal for you. A lot of times they just need help getting the word out. So you can even ask some of them if you can collaborate on some things or do some sweat equity. I know a lot of times that's something that you can't do with larger businesses, um, but for instance, um, in the midwifery world, that's how I got started. I was able to ask them if they needed some extra office help and I helped to organize some of their programs for them. So um, there's a lot of ways that you can negotiate better deals with small businesses and um, support them in their ventures with what they're doing. So I just wanted to give you those tips and shout out to all the small businesses that are working so hard Take a good break. Today's Friday. Enjoy the eclipse weekend, and we'll see you next Friday. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Bye.